What is going on YouTube? Back again with another review of a certain item in the gaming related enterprises. So I've recently picked up the PS4 as a lot of you guys have known. And one of the biggest issues I ran into right off the bat was charging this little guy. So originally I was just hooking up the charging cord to it, having to put my PS4 in rest mode, and then going, you know, doing it the normal route that way. But, for Christmas, I had gotten a girly gift for my wife, which was this dual USB charging stand for the PS4 Slim and Pro. So I actually have a PS4 Slim, so this worked out perfectly. Not only can you charge your controller through it, but you can also do it for two of them. Uh, I have not picked up a second one yet, but... This thing has been awesome so far. It doesn't necessarily have a certain brand, but I will put down in the description below, I'll put the link to where we got it on Amazon. It goes for about $13.99, uh, four and a half stars out of five, and about 2,700 ratings. So you know it's a really good item. Here's the stand itself. And now I put this thing on there, it's really simple. At first I was kind of struggling because I was trying to go at a weird angle, but you have your normal little just it's, it's a nice sturdy stand with uh, anti-slip grips on the bottom. You basically just line it up and you just shove her in there. And that's all you gotta do guys. Now, obviously if you bend it too much, it might fall out, but right now it's holding in there very good. And not only does this thing hold good and it charges good, but it will also shut off once you're fully charged. Uh, I found this out right away. I hooked it up, and yes, you will have to leave your PS. If you want to use your PS4, you will still have to use it and rest mode to charge it, because it does come with the actual regular charging cable. But having a PlayStation VR and stuff, having to switch the cords and everything, it became annoying real fast to be able to do that. But with this now, once I pick up another controller, let's say me and my kids or a buddy comes over and plays it, we play for a couple hours. Uh, they go to leave for the night and I'm just gonna kind of chill here or go to bed. I can put the PS4 in the rest mode, hook both of them up to this, and charge them no problem, guys. Very cheap, very sturdy. If you are looking for something this Christmas or if you got a PS4 right now and you're charging it the old fashioned cable way, I know this is not a well known brand. It seems really generic, very basic Chinese whatever knockoff but this thing is so far has been worth it. I've been using it about two or three weeks now I have no issues with it like I said the only thing at first was I could not get the angling down right and I thought that maybe this was not made for my PS4 controllers but I was wrong it is works perfectly fine no issues lights up a cool blue color when it's charging and when it is done charging it will shut that light off to let you know that your controller is fully charged so I hope you guys like this quick video like I said, the link to this on Amazon will be in the description below so you guys can go check it out. As always, my friends, stay retro. Thank you for watching and have yourself a great day.